In the last video, we laid out our project, an illustrated article. In it, we specified these parts, created the file, and drafted its format as we placed all our text on it. With all those elements and an estimated idea of how we want the whole project to look, we're moving to the illustration phase, starting with the sketches. For our article, we want to have an illustration that can show us the main meaning of the article in just one image. For our second illustration, we're going to focus on a part of the article and create an illustration depicting that. For the main one, we're going to create a character that's using all the methods describing our made-up article at the same time, that is, books, computers, etc. Each of them with a speech bubble with some text in different languages. For the second one, we're going to create a computer with another character and a speech bubble with the text in a different language. To create a more accurate sketch, we're going to go back to the magazine file, open the first page of our article, select the space that our illustration is going to take, I'm going to fill it with a color, copy it and then go to File, Create from Clipboard. I'm going to create a bigger canvas at Edit, Canvas Properties and then use the black box to create the outlines. We're going to repeat this for the second illustration. This way we're going to have three different files, one for each illustration and another for the text where we're going to put our final illustration once we're done with them. We're going to use these files to perfect our sketches. We're going to use a flat illustration style, so I want to create a color palette that has around 10 colors where most of them are going to be very bright. We want an illustration that's going to pop. We're going to grab some intense colors that are mostly complementary between them. As we're going to use the same palette for both the illustrations, we're going to use color set to create the palette and reach for it every time we need it. If you have no idea about what colors to choose, you can always look online for a palette generator with the colors that appeals to you the most. For shapes that are more organic, we might want to use the pen or some other brush. It's better to use a tool that's very clean so we can create the outline and then fill it with the same color using the fill tool. Another way to use with the geometrical shapes will be to use the figure tool. We can either create the outline like we did with the glasses here or create the shape with fill.
That's how we're going to create the laptop or the speech bubbles. For those, we can also use the balloon tool and even create the balloon tail easily with it. For some objects, we're going to create the general shape in one color. Then left click over the layer and lock transparent pixels. Then we're going to add the details in another color without painting outside the shape we already created. The illustration is almost done. If we want it, we could leave it the way it is right now. But we're going to give it a bit more personality in the next video where we're going to be adding some textures and also showing you the final composition.